Hi there, I'm Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition. And in this video, let's take a look at some shadow boxing for beginners. Now, shadow boxing is a great way to practice all your boxing technique. It's also dynamic and is a great way to work up a sweat and burn a ton of calories. It's also low impact and surprisingly is easy on the joints. And it can be an awesome mode of cardio if you have any injuries. Best of all, you don't need any equipment. All that you really need is your imagination and the desire to get into great shape. If you wanted to, you could use some gloves or even nothing at all to shadow box. I usually use hand wraps because I like to use shadow boxing to warm up and then move on to something else like the heavy bag, the focus mitts, or perhaps some sparring. And I want my hands to be ready to go. And I will leave a link in the description below to show you how to properly wrap your hands. Now, traditionally, people did use their shadow to shadow box your shadow will be dependent on the available light and so you may want to begin by using a mirror instead now in the beginning i'm not looking to be powerful or explosive i'm going to take things nice and easy start off by facing the mirror and assuming your proper boxing stance and i'll leave a link to that in the description below as well all that you're looking to do here in the beginning is set yourself up in your stance and get yourself comfortable i'm going to keep my guard up and loosen up by shifting my weight from foot to foot once I feel comfortable in my boxing stance, I'm going to spend about a minute just moving around. I'm not going to throw any punches, I'm just going to remain in my stance as I move forward and back, and then laterally from one side to the other. I also might throw in the odd pivot or two here and there. After I've moved around for a little bit, I'll return to one spot in front of the mirror, and I'm going to start to throw some punches in place. Now keep in mind, this is not a minute to win it and I don't want to be rapidly throwing out my arm as quickly as possible. Instead, I want to keep things at a much more realistic tempo. And so I'm going to throw one punch, reset myself into my stance, and then throw another. And for someone who's new to shadow boxing and trying it out for the first time, I would suggest throwing 50 of each of the basic punches. So that would be 50 jabs, 50 crosses, 50 left hooks to the head, 50 right hooks to the head, 50 left hooks to the body, then the right hooks to the body, followed by some uppercuts. As I throw each punch, I'm looking directly at myself in the mirror. I'm making sure that I'm using proper technique for each shot. I'm keeping track of my hand position. I'm making sure that my shoulders stay nice and high to protect my chin, and that my elbows aren't too wide. But most importantly, I'm trying to remain relaxed, and I don't forget to breathe. I can also get used to the idea of someone throwing punches towards me. But luckily, in this case, it's only my reflection, and so there's no need to worry. After I've thrown 50 repetitions of each punch, I'm going to finish off by practicing some defensive maneuvers for a couple of minutes. So I will use my imagination to envision myself slipping my opponent's punches, bobbing and weaving, blocking his punches, and I'll try and pivot in and out of punching position. Now I'm going to stick to looking into the mirror and throwing those 50 repetitions of each punch for a couple weeks until I feel confident with my technique. And after a while, once you've gotten used to shadow boxing with the mirror, let's see if we can put together your own shadow boxing routine. Now to do this, I'm going to use an app on my smartphone to keep track of the time. And I'm going to aim for three minutes of shadow boxing followed by one minute of rest. And I'm going to aim for five rounds to really work up a sweat. So let's start out the first round. And like we did previously, we're going to start out with some movement only. So for the first round, we're not going to throw any punches. And now that you've gotten used to shadow boxing and you feel a little more comfortable with your technique, you can move away from the mirror and begin to use your imagination. Envision that your opponent is right in front of you and he's trying to get the angle on you, but you're not going to let him. By now, you should have an inclination of what your proper boxing stance should feel like. And you want to do your best to keep proper positioning. Now, as you move around, Picture yourself getting into the proper position and into the proper range to throw the punches that you want to throw. Next, we're going to throw only the jab and the cross for one round. Once again, visualize your opponent and then throw only the jab for the first minute. Move yourself into different positions and just use that jab. Then visualize yourself landing the cross as you keep moving for the next minute of the round. Finally, throw both the jab and the cross together for the final minute of the round. Now, 
Next, we're going to throw hooks and uppercuts for an entire round. I'm going to start out by throwing a left hook to the head. Then I'll throw some left hooks to the body. Then I will do the same thing for the right hooks. Now it's important to note that I'm not putting a huge amount of power into these shots. What I'm looking to do is stay fluid and I'm looking to keep moving. And the whole time I envision that I'm outboxing my shadow slash imaginary opponent. Now I'm going to finish off this round by throwing some uppercuts. And don't forget to relax and don't forget to breathe. We're going to finish off the shadow boxing routine with two consecutive rounds of throwing combinations. Remember that you don't need to throw the shots with a huge amount of power. Just envision that shadow opponent and try to keep moving. Picture him coming forward towards you or running away in retreat. Picture yourself breaking his defensive shell or that you're slipping and blocking all of his punches. The most important thing here with your shadow boxing routine is to have fun and to use your imagination. Remember that the punches don't have to be thrown with a huge amount of power and don't forget to just relax and breathe. And now you have another great workout routine to add to your repertoire that is low impact for your joints but also destroys a ton of calories as you work up a tremendous sweat. And best of all, this type of workout can be done absolutely anywhere with no equipment whatsoever. This has been Mike Gales for Everlast Nutrition, and if you like these videos, then please click below to like or subscribe, as we're constantly posting up great tips and new ideas that are meant to get you into the absolute greatest shape possible. 